that association. Uh, thank you for joining us uh, and remembering Kelly Cobble, her life and her legacy. I met Kelly in July of 2021 at the QAA annual meeting when I stepped into my role as president. Um, Kelly's term was ending. That, uh, Although I'd heard her name many times in the past, except for a few brief telephone conversations before the meeting, we had not met face to face until then. As a newbie, I had dozens of questions about the organization, and Kelly reassured me that I could call on her any time, and I did. <laughs> and she never said, oh, this isn't a good time for me. But that was what Kelly was all about. I appreciated her time, her knowledge, and her guidance. She meant so much to so many. So let's begin our program. I'm pleased to introduce this evening's event organizer, Linda Santoro, and friend of Kelly's. Thank you, Ellen. Um, it is only fitting that we honor Kelly during our biggest event, Arts Fest, now in its 26th year, that she was so much a part of for decades. When Kelly was ready to step down as president, we were so grateful for Ellen stepping up and stepping in as president with leadership and grace. Thank you, Ellen. On behalf of the Quincy Art Association and the Q Arts Gallery, I'd like to thank Mayor Tom Cole for always supporting the arts, making sure there was a place to teach all ages in all mediums and to exhibit visual art from members of the community during the many years of Arts Fest here in the gallery and recently on the Hancock Adams Common. It is with great pleasure they introduce me to Tom Cope. Thank you. Thank you, Linda, for the warm introduction. Good evening, everybody. Uh, it's a pleasure to join with you. Um, I was here last week talking about Annette Peglarani, who meant so much to me in my life uh, when she taught me art uh, when I'm back in the fifth grade. Uh, and it, it's so great to see this place really help to liven up the downtown, brings a special vitality to the downtown. Uh, and so many people in this room are responsible for so many pieces that are on the walls uh, in this great one place. And tonight we remember a special way, Kelly Cobble. And, um, you know, we could go on and on about Kelly. I, I talk about Quincy frequently when I'm out and about. And, and what are those great things about Quincy? You know, of course it's historic. It's a great location. We've got great community assets, historical, architectural, cultural. But it always comes down to the people. It truly does. And Kelly Cobble is one, one of those special people that fits in that category. Whether it was the day job, she had such passion for the Adams National Historic Park. And, uh, and I see a number of her colleagues here um, who worked with her on a regular basis. Or there was a Quincy Art Association, or all those other things in between, whether it was soccer or all those things with, with her children uh, raising them. Kelly always brought it all. She gave it 110% great passion about her. And that's why Quincy is special. So it's certainly a, an honor for me to join you tonight to honor the memory of a great woman who will never forget, particularly in the arts community, Kelly Cobble. If you would do the honor of unveiling the plaque that's going to hang here in the gallery permanently. Could I invite Councillor Mahoney to assist me? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I know you're friends with Kelly. I'm not going to re read it, but we also have one for the family. And there will be one Carnally Kong and the Annette Pagliarani nice. Arts Center. Uh, welcome and thank you to all who have come here tonight 
to celebrate Kelly. Let me put my glasses on, sorry. <laughs> the Quincy Art Association would like to welcome and thank Kelly's family. Her husband Steve, her children Isabella and Stephen, uh, for their generosity in creating a scholarship in Kelly's memory that has raised nearly $6,000. Thank you to all who have donated. Many of you are here tonight. Those donations have made it possible for a senior from North Quincy High and Quincy High School to receive a $500 scholarship towards their continuing education pursuing the arts. Uh, this year's recipients will be attending Mass College of Art and the Coutal Institute of Art in London. Oh. Kelly would have loved that, right? <laughs> in addition to the high school scholarships, we have added awards at our Arts Fest exhibits. I'm trying to say that fast. <laughs> Five times fast. In Kelly's name, this year's recipient, Mr. Dan Myers, for his Abigail Adams sculpture. Kelly would have loved that. about many things. Everything Kelly did, she did with great gusto. A lover of life, she filled up a room when she entered. She was a soldier on the front lines of the Quincy Art Association and many other worthwhile organizations. She had a way of recruiting others by drawing them into her causes, which would become theirs. It's because of Kelly's perseverance and Mayor Koch's commitment to the arts that we stand in this beautiful space tonight to honor her. And now I'm going to ask Becky Egan, president of Jaltrusa International Incorporated, to please come forward. Becky. Mayor, do you need to go? <laughs> I'm going to be a couple. It's his anniversary. It's I know. It's his anniversary. So my wife is waiting for me. Please. Right. Right. Thank, uh, you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As a wife, he needs to go <laughs> and take care of that. Um, so, like Kelly, I'm going to have a couple of hats on me while I'm up here, so just give me a second. First of all, before I invite my altruisans up, I'd like to formally thank Ellen and Linda for making this happen. First of all, yes, please. My hat right now is friend. I, as Kelly's friend, am thrilled that, that this has happened. This, this space that this happened was something she had dreamed of for years. And when you agreed to take over as president, she was so grateful. I was in the car with her when she would say, this is so great. I'm so happy. She knew it was going to be well taken care of, and she was happy to let the reins go. And so, thank goodness you stepped in when you did. So, thank you. Um, can I please have my Altrusen ladies come up? Go step up. So, um, this is my Altrusa hat now. Uh, Kelly was president also of an Altrusa group, and you're all going to say, What's Altrusa? <laughs> so, my first is an elevator speech of what is Altrusa. So Altrusa is an international service organization, um, very similar to Kiwanis, Lions, Rotary, came about the same time after World War I. It's 106 years old. We have two seats in the, hold on, yep, United Nations. We actually have two seats in the United Nations where we're a formal observant for uh, um, service and community in the international world. Um, it has morphed from patriotism, efficiency, and service way back in 19-oh-whatever to now um, our major focus is literacy. And if anybody who knew Kelly, the, Kelly had multiple things that she was passionate about. Art was one of them, and literacy and literature was another one. So uh, as Altrusans, we're making a donation to the Art Association in Kelly's honor, our hope is, and this would be Kelly's 100% would be behind this, that our donation enables some children who couldn't participate in an art class, participate and maybe get the spark of some art or exposure to some art 
and who knows, maybe we are supporting the next, you know, Picasso, or the next Russo, or the next, well, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> or the next one of these wonderful people that are here. So, um, can I give you this, my dear? Sure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very Thank much. you. is I'd like to specifically thank Chris. Where are you, Chris? From my, from, yep, there's Chris. So I met Chris at the Art Association building up on High School Ave um, because Kelly was also a member of a book group. And many of you are here. And we opted to buy a little free library. And um, it will be uh, put up on the uh, lawn of the Methodist Church down in Wollaston Center. We've been given permission to do that. Um, Chris helps me take the whole thing apart and prime it. It's all ready. And we're looking for a couple of artists, two or three artists, who would be willing to paint it in Kelly's honor some things that Isabella and Stevie and Stephen would like to represent things that, that Kelly has uh, passions for. Um, and we can talk about that. If anybody is interested, please let me know. I know it's been in the um, art, uh, art Association Blast, but I think what people didn't know is that it's in Kelly's honor and we have a plaque that says that it is in Kelly Cobble's honor. Uh, and we will fill it with books for anybody and everybody who wants to take them or trade them. So thank you very much. Isabella? Hi everyone, I'm Isabella Cobble, Kelly Cobble's daughter. Um, I just wanted to say thank you all for being here today. We really appreciate all your support. Um, my mom would have loved this room being surrounded by art. Um, so yeah, thank you to our friends, family, Linda, Ellen, um, everyone in the Quincy Art Association and everyone from my mom's various organizations who have helped us really get through a really tough year. So we're really grateful to have this space and opportunity to celebrate her and get everyone together. So thank you. If anybody has something about Kelly that they'd like to share, now is your time. You get exactly one minute, and then I'm going to grab the hook. I should have that time. Yeah? I'm also going to put out some food if anybody's hungry. Yeah. Thanks. They, they it actually, is, it, if I'm not mistaken, it was... It's catered by Cucina Mia, which was one of Kelly's favorite places. Let's see. It's it's around the corner from the library in the center of Quincy where the Adamses are. Couldn't have been better. Right? Does anybody like to, would anyone like to say, please step up? Yep, come on over. We'll get you in line. We'll do two or three people. Somebody was behind there. Susan, Marianne, come on up. I'll jump in while you're creating a line. Yeah, go ahead. You go okay. first. Okay. Um, I don't know if any of you are old enough or young enough to remember Red when he made Holding Back the Tears, a popular song. And it's one that was always special to me. But today and, and yesterday, it's been really a challenge because we love her so much. And Kelly, when I think of her, I think of Kelly Pablo Extraordinaire. She was remarkable. And it was never about Kelly. It was always about someone else, something else. And I have the privilege of hiring her of encouraging her to be a volunteer at the Adams National Historical Park. And she took me up on the offer, and she became a curator. And she made it her passion, and her contributions were above and beyond your comprehension. She received the Appleman Judd Resource Management Award from the director of the National Park Service, noting her capability 
uh, for our resource stewardship, it wasn't just about the Adams House. You know, as a manager, as a superintendent of that resource, uh, there's so many different facets, but she fell in love with the Adamses, she fell in love with the cultural arts, she fell in love with the collection. She fell in love with all of us in so many ways of friendship, how she valued and, and wanted the best for her, her son Steve and her daughter Isabella, and how accomplished they had become, and how proud she was of them. And she was a giver. She was not a taker. She gave to the community. She gave to the arts, to the book club. club. To her family, I mean, there wasn't anything that she wouldn't do uh, above and beyond. She would be there ready to help. Um, Kelly left our world far too soon. But she left her world a better place. And for that, we are so grateful because she, her influence and her caring and her contributions to society um, are, are part of what we will get to celebrate in the future days and years ahead. And let me tell you a personal story before we make an award to the family on her behalf from the National Park Service. Kelly was all about success, helping people succeed in life no matter who they were or what they did. She was a mentor, she was a communicator and a giver. One day she came into my office and we were talking, we were discussing, we were making decisions. And, and I looked up at her and I said, Kelly, what a beautiful necklace. And she said to me, do you like it? And I said, well, you know me and jewelry. I like all jewelry. <laughs> and she said, here. And she unclipped it and she gave it to me. And this is the necklace that Kelly gave to me. Oh, Maybe 20, 30 years ago. I hired her 30 years ago. She worked for the National Park Service for 30 years. And she gave each and every day. And as a result, we're the beneficiary. And in closing, I'd like to invite Patty Smith to uh, make some awards on behalf of the family for Kelly's work because Kelly was the curator of the most extraordinary collection of the two Adams presidents and four generations of the Adams family. So congratulations to Kelly. Uh, yeah, first of all, he had a 25 year public service commemoration. Yeah, so that was, uh, she didn't get to see it, but Wow. Even though she weren't there for 30 years, we're a little, we're always behind. <laughs> <laughs> and then on behalf of the New England Museum Association, this is called NEMA for short, they recognize Kelly's contributions to the museum world in all of New England. She was on different museum conservation groups, consults. Uh, wherever, whenever Kelly joined, she made impact, and they even recognized her last year. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I was a member of the church that she grew up in, Quincy Community United Methodist Church. And this is where she got her faith and her power. And an incredible woman, and will never be spot. Is there anybody else who would like to come up and say something? You even get the chair if you want. <laughs> Okay, Linda, are we all set? I think we enjoy Manja. Manja. Thank you all for coming.